Hello YouTube, this is Alex from Thingsboard. The very first question from our customers is about updates and new features of the platform. There are a lot of them, so today we are going to talk about the custom action with HTML template. You will learn how to create your own buttons with the functionality you need. With this feature, for example, your users will be able to create new devices or assets from the dashboard. They will be able not only register themselves using self-registration feature, but to register their devices and assets as well. With new action, you can also create relations between entities, delete or modify current entities. The custom forms represent a user-friendly way to set up customer solution with zero efforts from tenant admin, for instance. Here is a ready-made entity list widget that contains three districts A, B and C. Press Edit Widget and go to Actions tab. We will create a Delete Entity button. This button will allow you to delete assets that already exist in your environment and which are displayed on a dashboard as well. Press Add Action button, select Action Cell button, call it Delete. Select the icon of this button, type of action, in our case this would be custom action with HTML templates. Choosing this type of action, you receive more flexibility than with conventional custom action. There are four tabs by default. The first tab is Resources. It's used to specify external JavaScript CSS resources. For example, External resources may be third-party libraries that we are going to use, or files with styles connected by reference, instead of writing them in an editor or as an addition to styles written within CSS tab. The second tab contains style of user interface elements. The third tab is HTML. It contains a mock-up of visual content template you can use for the model window in your JavaScript code. The last tab is JavaScript. It contains JavaScript code related to the action. You can leave the HTML and CSS fields blank if you use a simple delete entity type feature. Notice that delete entity button you can create even without this kind of action just using the custom action feature. There are various ready-made templates herein. Let's start with Delete Entity. This feature requires only JavaScript. We need to uncomment required template. Highlight the script and press Ctrl plus slash in case you have a PC. For iOS you can press Command plus slash. As you may see the code is divided into blocks. Let's take a look on these blocks. The service block. It's launching all services related to delete function. The dialog block. It launched the dialog box with all predefined services. The function block. It set the instructions for the interaction and performance of all services associated with the selected function. In our case, there are delete and the promise, update alias data, and show error dialog services. Now click add button, and here is our delete entity button. Try to delete District B from the widget. Let's move to Assets. District B was deleted. Let's move on. We've deleted Entity now and we will add a button which allows us edit Entity data or update Entity attributes for example. This button is more difficult than Delete Entity action and it uses HTML and JavaScript. Edit Entity button allows us edit entity attributes. You will not be able to add new attributes, for example, phone number, firmware version and others. Now go to HTML tab. We need to uncomment required portion of code first. Now let's review the JavaScript. First of all, we need to uncomment our script template. The first part of the code launched all services related to Edit Entity button. The service block. 
opens a dialog box with all predefined services and edit controller block includes add relation, remove relation and other keys we want to edit. The last part of JavaScript automatically update changes in new data without reloading the page. And let's create this button and try it out. Press it and you'll be able to edit latitude, longitude, address, ownership, value and other parameters. You can optionally add relations, for example. Now let's edit the template and, for example, add the ability to upload a picture of the district. In order to do this, we copy the prepared snippet of HTML code, which is responsible for placing the fields preview and drag and drop. To customize the appearance of these fields, copy and paste the prepared CSS piece and copy and paste the JavaScript code that is responsible for the functionality of these fields. All the code's examples are available in the description. Save the change and click the Edit Entity button again. Here is a newly added image upload box. Let's drag and drop image here. We save change and can view the attributes of District C. Here is our picture. This button will be used to create new entities from the widget. This action functionality is similar to Edit Entity, but there is a big difference. The ability to add new attribute fields, such as phone number, firmware version, etc. While with Edit Entity, it's not possible. Add Entity button will allow you simply update current entity attributes and add new ones. Let's put this button in the widget header. Go to HTML tab. We need to uncomment its first Now let's review the JavaScript. We need to uncomment our script template. Add our add button is almost identical to the previous button. So create our add entity button and try it. Now we'll modify our HTML template. For example, let's add a phone number field for add entity button. In order to do this, copy and paste the prepared HTML template. The number input options are listed here. You can only enter numbers. Now you see, if you input, for example, letters in the phone field, the system will notify you about the mismatch. We were succeed with adding a district B with phone number. Now let's check it within assets section. Entity info button. This button will show you a detail of your entity, for example, district's address, image, etc. To create this button, we will use a template from HTML and JavaScript. Copy and paste it. Let's take a closer look at this script. First block launches all services related to Entity Info button. Show Info Dialog block launches a dialog with all predefined services. Next is a set of instructions that is responsible for the interaction and performance of all services associated with the selected function. 
There are info dialog controller, get attributes value, open district details and get info attributes. Show failed dialog shows us fail message if there are any issues. HTML contains information about page layout, fonts, buttons and margins. Let's add a button and try it. Select for example district A. You can see the image of this district and details about it. Thank you for watching. Stay with us. And may the things board with you.